Today we'll be taking a look at the Arc Pac 730 portable power station with 300 watt inverter. Now this is going to be a great accessory to have out with you whether you're hiking or camping or RVing or really anything where you're going to be off grid. It's going to allow you to have power to charge your smaller items, things like a cell phone, a laptop, maybe a camera battery or anything like that. We'll have some sockets here at the front two 12 volt sockets so we can plug those into that kind of car style connection there. We'll also have a screen so that we can adjust our settings to match with the battery that we put inside. You'll want to get a deep cell battery to go with this. It works with several different kinds including an AGM, gel, standard lead acid, calcium, and lithium ion. It does not come with that battery, so you will have to pick that up on your own. See, there's a little strap at the bottom there that's going to help to keep that battery in place and help it to stay stable. And then we'll have our connections at the top to make our wiring connections to that battery. There's also fuses in place in that top lid, so if there's any issues that arise, you can replace that fuse and you don't have to worry about ruining the whole system there. So it's all fuse protected. Close that back down, secure our latch. On either side, we'll also have some accessories or some ports to look at here. So this is going to be an Anderson style port to charge another battery or to work with a dual battery system. So you can set up another battery to run in conjunction with this to double your power. And there's also next to that a little door, we can open that up. And there you'll see we'll have a USB port and your typical AC socket. So you can use that with a three prong plug, like for a laptop or something else that has that AC power. This is going to provide a max output of 300 watts. And that's an AC output, and then our USB output has 5 volts DC output. There's an on-off switch here to help prevent any kind of battery drain. So you'll turn that on whenever you're ready to use your accessory. Now there's a little warning label at the top to kind of line out the items that this is not designed to work with. Things that have a heating element pretty much won't really work with this. It's not really designed to have that much power output. So hair dryer, coffee maker water kettle, things like that that need a lot of power, they're just not designed to work with this guy. So keep that in mind. This is really going to be great for powering those smaller items where you would normally have to run a generator, but you're in a situation where you don't really want to disturb the quiet. Maybe you're out in the great outdoors somewhere and you just need to charge your phone for the night, have a fan going, maybe a lantern. So this is gonna give you that power to keep those items running and charged for the next day. Helps you stay off grid a little bit longer. On the other side, we'll have these two terminals, which are a direct connection to the battery. This is going to be used mostly for connecting to a solar panel or another battery to charge the battery inside. Now whenever you make that connection you'll want to put a solenoid or something in between to make sure that you don't overcharge that battery and cause any damage. A solenoid is not included with this, another, that's another thing you'd have to pick up on your own. Underneath that we'll have a little vent to help keep our battery cool, help prevent any buildup of heat, and then we'll also have a DC input. So to charge the battery, you can either do it from those bare terminals there or use the included power cables here. So we'll have an AC-DC adapter. We plug this into our power station here and then plug in the other end to an AC outlet at home. That will charge our power station or you can use this guy which will be a, a DC con direct connection and it's gonna be a car style plug so you can plug this into the cigarette lighter on your vehicle and then charge your battery that way. So you have two options whether you're out on the road and you just need to charge this off of your vehicle's battery or whenever you get home or you're about ready to head out you can make sure that this is charged using that AC-DC power adapter. Now these two little brackets here, I have these set up. That's to give you a more secure mounting point on that power station. It comes with these brackets. I have them attached so you can see what they look like, but that provides a little place to slide in on either side. So if you're gonna keep this inside your camper or maybe inside your truck, 
you can keep that secure. One thing I will note with this power station, it doesn't really have any water protection or dust protection. The handles open up directly into that battery station, so my hand can go in there, and there's a hole right here, so it goes directly in there. So it doesn't really provide any kind of water protection. So I wouldn't suggest having this on a boat if it's going to be exposed to water and our lid does a pretty good job of keeping it secure, but there's no grommet or gasket or anything going around that lid. So just something to keep in mind. As far as the dimensions with this, on the outside, it's about 17 and 3 eighths inches long. If we go from the furthest point to the furthest point, and then it's 12 and 7 eighths inches tall flip around to the side and it's about nine and a half inches wide if we go from the front to this back hinge here. You can open it up and the internal dimensions, so how big it can fit a battery, the usable space, that's going to be about 13 inches long by about seven inches wide and then about nine and three eighths inches tall. Comes with everything you see here laid out on the table. So that's gonna be our AC DC power adapter, our DC car adapter, and the brackets to mount this more securely in your vehicle. As it is now, it weighs about 10.2 pounds or about 10 and a quarter pounds. Whenever you put that battery inside, it's going to, of course, get a bit heavier, and that's going to depend on what type of battery you choose. The system output for this is going to be 12 volts DC. The current output is up to 7 amps. The input or operating voltage is 110 volts AC or 12 volts to 24 volts DC. It has a one-year warranty from ARC. And that's going to do it for our look at the ARC Pack 730 Portable Power Station.